It is the ability to compre comprehend, understand, and uh, understand. solve problems. Uh, uh, understanding when uh, solving the problem, capability of solving the problem, then processing thinking. everything that we know. Again, uh, yeah, uh, they should be able to process uh, everything. Then, come on, come up with the idea. Yeah, it's an ability to acquire knowledge and skills. Uh, ability to acquire knowledge and skills. Skills, okay. That that thing is very correct. So when we talk about intelligence, usually in our our classroom situation, the more important thing is that we can buy the intelligence that we have learned. That is why in exam, if the student gets A grade, then we consider that particular student is having high. Ma'am, can excuse me, ma'am, can we can you be bit more louder? Ah, okay. But I will take the headset and talk. Anyway, now we will. Um, I'll give you an introduction regarding what intelligence is. So, as you said, intelligence means uh, uh, if a person possesses the ability to acquire the knowledge, and as well as you mentioned the skill, that is also very important. So, two aspects are very important in this particular yes. sentence. It is the ability. So, ability that is very important. The person should possess some ability for what to acquire or for the. Position of knowledge and skill. Other one part, and intelligence is part of the ability to acquire knowledge and skill. So, our the ability, when I'm at the same time, the acquisition that is also very important. Acquire what the knowledge. The knowledge is around us. We have the. We should possess the ability to acquire that knowledge and skill. And also in the second part, we have to apply that knowledge and skill. Then only we can say that the person is intelligent. So when we talk about intelligence, it is the ability to acquire the knowledge as well as skill in front of us. At the same time, नमले तो रुदे acquire इधा मात्रम पोरे. At the same time, we have to apply the knowledge and skill. So now you are studying psychology. So you are acquiring knowledge as well as certain skills in psychology. Hmm? So that knowledge is the. But you have to apply that knowledge. Then only we can say that you are a you are an intelligent person, or you are an uh, psychologist. You are using the your intelligence. So when we talk about the intelligence, it is the ability to acquire knowledge and skill, and at the same time we should possess the ability to apply that knowledge and skill. So we can say that uh, intelligence it can be defined as a person's capacity uh, for logic. when we think about uh, when a problem is uh, there in front of us we have to think logically we should have possess the ability to understand that problem then we have to uh, possess the ability to analyze that problem at the same time learning is also very important learning a particular uh, skill that is very important then self awareness then emotional knowledge what do you mean by emotional knowledge Okay, that we will come to that portion. So, the emotional knowledge that is uh, uh, that is very much needed. Then, uh, if uh, when you come across with a problem, you should uh, know how to plan that problem. Then, uh, how to guide yourself in solving that problem. At the same time, creativity. All these things are involved. अब intelligence इन्दु पारे ना दर वर दे उरु चरिया रेस्पेक्टे मात्रा लाना. नम्मल डे मुन्नी लोरे problem उन्दु नंदे के how we are able to cope up with that problem. അന്നേറ്റ് നമ്മുടെ തിങ്കിങ്ങിന്റെ പല ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് ലൈക് അനലിറ്റിക്കൽ തിങ്കിങ് ലോജിക്കൽ റീസണിങ് ഇങ്ങനത്തെ എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും
വരുന്നുണ്ട് അതേപോലെ തന്നെ അവർ ഇമോഷൻ ഇമോഷണൽ നോളജ് ദെൻ നമുക്ക് നമ്മളെ കുറിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള അറിവ് ഇങ്ങനത്തെ എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും കൂടി ചേരുന്നതാണ് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ദെൻ നോ മേ ആസ്ക് യു വൺ തിങ് ഹാവ് യു ഹേർഡ് ഓഫ് ഓക്കെ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി യു നോ ദാറ്റ് വോട്ട് ഇസ് ഐ വോട്ട് ഇസ് ഐ ക്യു വോട്ട് ഇസ് ഐ ക്യു ഇന്റലിജന്റ് കോഷൻ യു ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു നോ ദാറ്റ് ഇനി വോട്ട് ഇസ് ഇ ക്യു emotional caution emotional caution so which is more important in the present scenario which is more important eq or iq eq is more important eq, EQ. EQ is more important why eq hmm? emotionally balanced state emotional balance yeah, what do you mean by emotional emotional caution or eq nu parnal endokka components aanu enathu varunathu managing one's own emotions and knowing how to respond to other people's yes. emotions uh, various aspects regarding the emotions comes under eq that means we should have an emotional knowledge adha na nere or term use the emotional knowledge emotional knowledge means we should be able to aware of our emotions we should know how to regulate our emotions we should be able to manage our emotions in the emotions are related aitulla pala aspects und idokku onnu namukku control cheyan pattana so that is one aspect when we talk about eq then ipo pandakke korchu na kore varshangal munnakke anandi suppose if a student score good mark i mean or 95 percentage of mark kitti kaina definitely we know that he will be placed in a good position avaru nalla oru joli like avaru etti irikkum but nowadays the situation has changed a lot appo nammal classroom le thanne onnu sradhichinga teachers onnu sradhichinga ariya ഇപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ പഠിപ്പിച്ചൊക്കെ പോകുന്ന സമയത്ത് സെൻറ്റ് പെർസെന്റേജ് മാർക്കൊക്കെ കിട്ടി പാസ് ആകുന്ന ഒരു കാറ്റഗറി ഓഫ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഉണ്ട് അതേസമയം ഒരു സെവന്റി പെർസെന്റേജ് ഒരു ആവറേജ് ലെവലിൽ നിൽക്കുന്ന സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഉണ്ട് അതൊരു കുറച്ച് വർഷം കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ജസ്റ്റ് ഒന്ന് യു ജസ്റ്റ് മേക്ക് ആൻഡ് എക്സ്പ്ലോറേഷൻ റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദീസ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഇവരൊക്കെ എവിടെ എത്തി എന്ന് നോക്കുക അപ്പൊ ഈ നോക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് പലപ്പോഴും ഇപ്പൊ ഞാൻ തന്നെ പല ചെറിയൊരു രീതിയിൽ ഒരു റിസർച്ച് പോലെയല്ല എങ്കിലും ചെറിയൊരു അനാലിസിസ് നടത്തുന്ന സമയത്ത് കാണാറുണ്ട് ഈ ഭയങ്കര മാർക്ക് വാങ്ങുന്നവരൊക്കെ ചിലപ്പോൾ ലൈഫിൽ സക്സസ് ആകണമെന്നില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എന്താണ് പ്രൊഫഷണലി അവരൊരു നല്ല ലെവലിൽ എത്തണം എന്നില്ല ബട്ട് ഈ ഒരു ആവറേജ് ലെവലിൽ പോകുന്നവരൊക്കെ കുറച്ചും കൂടി ഒരു ഹൈ പൊസിഷനിലും റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ഒക്കെ നല്ല രീതിയിൽ മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് അവർക്ക് പറ്റാറുണ്ട് വൈ സോ വൈ എന്താണ് അതങ്ങനെ സംഭവിക്കാൻ കാര്യം അവർക്ക് ഇ ക്യു ഹൈ ആണ് ഇ ക്യു ഹൈ ആണ് ബിക്കോസ് ദേ നോ ഹൗ ടു കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേറ്റ് ഇ ക്യൂൽ ഏറ്റവും ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഇമോഷൻസ് ഇമോഷൻസിന്റെ കൂടെ തന്നെ ഏറ്റവും ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ആണ് ദ കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ സ്കിൽ ദ ഇന്റർപേഴ്സണൽ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ദേ ഷുഡ് നോ ഹൗ ടു ടാക്കിൾ ദ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ദെൻ ദേ ഹാവ് ദ ലീഡർഷിപ്പ് സ്കിൽസ് ഇങ്ങനത്തെ പല കാര്യങ്ങളും ബാക്കിയുള്ളവരൊക്കെ ആയിട്ട് നല്ല രീതിയിൽ പോകാനായിട്ട് അവർക്ക് പറ്റും മനസ്സിലായോ അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ വരുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഒരു ഇന്റർവ്യൂന് പോയി കഴിഞ്ഞാലും ദേ നോ ഹൗ ടു പെർഫോം വെൽ ദേ നോ ഹൗ ടു ഇംപ്രസ് അതേഴ്സ് ദേ നോ ഹൗ ടു ടാക്കിൾ ദ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് വിച്ച് ആർ ദർ ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് ദം ദേ നോ ഹൗ ടു ഫേസ് ദ ചാലഞ്ചസ് ഇങ്ങനത്തെ കാര്യങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ അവര് ഹൈലി ദർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വിൽ ബി ഹൈ സോ ദാറ്റ് ദേ വിൽ ബി ദേ ക്യാൻ ബി കൺസിഡേർഡ് ആസ് എ സക്സസ്ഫുൾ പേഴ്സൺ പക്ഷെ ചിലപ്പോൾ മറ്റൊരു കാറ്റഗറി ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ അവർക്ക് അത്രയും ഇത് ഈ ഒരു കാര്യത്തിൽ അത്രയും എന്താ പറയുന്നത് ലെവല് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആ ഒരു കോഷൻ ലെവല് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ നോട്ട് ബി ദാറ്റ് മച്ച് ഹൈ സോ ചില കുട്ടികൾ അങ്ങനെ വരുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഒരു ഫെയിലിയറിലേക്ക് പോകാറുണ്ട് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ ഇൻ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്കൂൾസ് നൗ ദ മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ഇസ് ഗിവിംഗ് ടു മച്ച് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ടു സോഫ്റ്റ് സ്കിൽസ് വോട്ട് ഡിമിൻ ബൈ സോഫ്റ്റ് സ്കിൽസ് EQ related to uh, communication leadership skills then problem solving capacity then again decision making skills ingenta pala karyangalkum idu idinakkana importance undu idu cheriya class le thotte if we are able to develop if the teachers are able to develop these skills in the children definitely uh, they will have high uh, EQ okay so that is why i personally i am also under the opinion that uh, it is uh, we have to give uh, more importance to uh, developing eq than iq iq nammalde ella vide nokki kanya or average level la irikku nikkanada but uh, eq aanu nammal sherikkin develop cheyidathu but now it is uh, for the last uh, two years we are sitting inside the home because of this pandemic and um, what about the interpersonal relationship or the communication it has come down Hmm? the children they are confined to this uh, laptop either to the laptop or to the mobile alle palarum aa or communication problem avarku nannayittu ippo undu and now uh, 
the another interesting topic which you can do the research is um, uh, face to face communication or the eye contact we have to maintain the eye contact and talk to a person that is very important now it just come down especially uh, among the teenagers means like ഇപ്പൊ പലരും ഇപ്പൊ ഈ കൗൺസിലിംഗ് വരുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഞാൻ എന്റെ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആയിട്ട് ടോക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്തൊക്കെ പറയുന്നത് എസ്പെഷ്യലി എമങ് ദ ബോയ്സ് ദേ ഫൈൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വെരി ഡിഫിക്കൾട്ട് ടു ടോക്ക് ടു ടോക്ക് ടു അനദർ പേഴ്സൺ ബൈ മെയിൻറ്റെയിനിങ് ഐ കോൺടാക്ട് ഇൻ കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ ദ മെയിൻറ്റെയിനിങ് ഐ കോൺടാക്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ് തിങ് സോ ദീസ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഹാവ് ദീസ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ദീസ് ടീനേജ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഹാവ് ദാറ്റ് ഡിഫിക്കൽറ്റി സോ ടെക്സ്റ്റിംഗ് മെസ്സേജ് ആൻഡ് എവറി തിങ് ഓർ ദ ഇ കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ ഇസ് പോസിബിൾ ബട്ട് this um, face to face communication it has become a, a very difficult for them so uh, so definitely they have to improve the interpersonal skills uh, uh, as well as the communication skills our communication is very far away from the point of view they are facing a problem they are facing a problem അപ്പൊ അതൊന്നും മനസ്സിൽ വെക്കുക ഇതൊക്കെ റിസർച്ച് സൈക്കോളജി പഠിക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് നമുക്ക് റിസർച്ചിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഒരു നല്ലൊരു ടോപ്പിക് ഒക്കെയാണ് ഓക്കെ എനി വേ വി വിൽ കം ടു ദ ടോപ്പിക് സോ വെൻ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ എബിലിറ്റി ടു എക്വർ നോളജ് ആൻഡ് സ്കിൽ ആൻഡ് അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം ദ പേഴ്സൺ ഷുഡ് പ്രോസസ് ദ എബിലിറ്റി ടു അപ്ലൈ ദിസ് നോളജ് ആൻഡ് സ്കിൽ ദെൻ വെൻ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ പൈനിയേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇൻ ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് സോ ഗാൽട്ടൻ ദെൻ കെയ്റ്റൽ uh this this we, these two persons can be considered as the pioneers in the field of intelligence francis galton the text na thondavu the then kate ivrakana then other contributors include uh, uh, alfred binet then uh, william stern uh, then again david beschler in pair onnu i have slide like include edittilla because everything i think it is there in your book but you should know these are some um, contributors which are uh, in the field of uh, intelligence mm? so william stern david beschler then uh, francis uh, galton sternberg uh, then uh, spearman thurston ee perigal okko onnu arnye manasile vechirikanam so these are the people who are connected with intelligence mm? intelligence lo three they have done extensive uh, research in the field of intelligence then alfred binet alfred binet he is a french psychologist and uh, he introduced the first practical iq test that is a binet simon test the first practical test binet simon test it was introduced by who alfred binet b i n e t and in that uh, name t is silent so it is pronounced as alfred binet so he is a french psychologist and he introduced the first practical iq test okay then uh, then uh, how will you measure iq how will you measure iq mental age by chronological chronological age into 100 age into 100 okay so that is the um, formula to measure iq so are ana aa oru formula kondanathu by william stern william stern ana iq equals ma by ca into 100 ennalla aa oru formula kondanathu then uh, now the thing is uh, what is what do you mean by mental age mental age endana ഇതാണ് കറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കേണ്ട ഒരു കാര്യം ഒരു കുട്ടിയുടെ ഒരു പ്രായത്തിലും കൂടുതലാണ് കുറവാണ് അയാളുടെ ഏജ് കാണിക്കുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളതാണ് മെന്റൽ ഏജിൽ പറയുന്നത് മെന്റൽ ഏജ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കൂടുതലോ കുറവോ എന്ന് പറയേണ്ട കാര്യമില്ല ഓരോ ഓരോ കുട്ടികളും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഓരോ വ്യക്തിയും ഓരോ ഏജിൽ ഓരോ ദേ ആർ സപ്പോസ് ടു പെർഫോം എ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഇപ്പൊ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ വെൻ വി ടേക്ക് ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് എ ചൈൽഡ് ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഈസ് സപ്പോസ് ടു വോക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ ഏജ് ഓഫ് എത്ര വയസ്സിലാണ് ഒരു കുട്ടി പതുക്കെ സപ്പോർട്ടോട് കൂടി പതുക്കെ നടക്കാൻ തുടങ്ങുന്നത് എയ്റ്റ് മന്ത്സ് ടു വൺ ഇയർ ആകുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും പതുക്കെ പിടിച്ച് പതുക്കെ കുട്ടി നടക്കാൻ തുടങ്ങും സോ ദാറ്റ് വി കോൾ ആസ് എ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റൽ മൈൽ സ്റ്റോൺ സോ ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഈസ് സപ്പോസ് ടു വാക്ക് ഇൻഡിപെൻഡന്റ്ലി ഓർ സപ്പോർട്ട് അറ്റ് ദ ഏജ് ഓഫ് എയ്റ്റ് മന്ത്സ് ടു വൺ ഇയർ അപ്പൊ ആ ഒരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഏജിൽ വെദർ ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഈസ് ഏബിൾ ടു പെർഫോം ദാറ്റ് ആക്ട് and at the age of 3 uh, correct enu karilla 3 thanne aano nu enu karilla nalum egadesha oru 3 years akka avumbodike adukku they are able to uh, they are supposed to hold the pencil hmm, with the three fingers and able to scribble scribbling nu alla parna aa oru padukka thodangum 
So we are checking whether the uh, uh, a child is able to perform that particular act. Okay. Upper mental age no chinya, how the, uh, a child at a specific age perform. So how will you measure it? How will we be able to measure that mental age? Mental age. Engine and measure another. IQ test measure and I do a putti one the gaina, a putti a pala aspects. Namla would measure energy another. a writing ability in down, self a memory test team, or a card in the Nina put the how the child is performing in the pala aspects and a intelligence test in the Parnanga, or a single test, a pala testicle a good it, Adinda pala scores the digit and Namla then a single score like a good it. How the child at a specific age performs. parent a Definitely, we'll have a, uh, a, a, a confusion with whether the child is having anything or abnormality or not. So, the clinician has to depend on IQ test. So, all aspects of the measure is the task is to score one aspect of the score. If you single score, the clinician will get the uh, score for mental age. If you have a mental age, you will get the Definitely his mental score will be low. Is it clear? Apa mental age in the whether the child is able to perform a specific activity at a particular age. That's mental age. Then, now moving to the other uh, factor that is CA or the chronological age. What is the chronological age? Original age. Original or actual age. If you have a moon by sight, you can see the moon by the chronological age. If you have an actual age, we call it as the chronological age. Chronological age. So, MA by CA into 100. That is uh, how we get the uh, IQ. So, MA is the same there is a lot of scores, and there is a lot of tests, and there is a lot of scores, and there is a single score like that. Okay, then, uh, so if you want to do practicals, if you want to do practicals, you want to do practicals, sometimes uh, give the definition of intelligence. But the, there is a famous definition for intelligence, so that you can write down. Uh, so, that is, write down, the aggregate of the the aggregate of the global capacity, the aggregate of the global capacity to act purposefully, to act purposefully, comma, to think rationally, to think rationally and, and to deal, deal effectively effectively with the environment deal effectively with the environment okay so this is a famous definition you please go through that definition power definition it is very clearly mentioned that it is the global capacity particular they are not concentrating on a single aspect they are giving importance to the global as global um, so many areas or it is the aggregate of global capacity uh, on to act purposefully but i'm going to a situation uh, or a or a challenging at all the situation we have to act according to the situation at the same time we have to think very rationally or we have to think in a logical way we have to find some reason there we have to use our reasoning capacity at the same time, we have to deal very effectively with the environment. This is the intelligent 
ഒരു ഇന്റലിജൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നതിൽ മെയിൻ ആയിട്ട് പറയുന്നത് സോ ദ അഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് ദ അഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് ആണ് ദ അഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്ലോബൽ കെപ്പാസിറ്റി ടു ആക്ട് പെർപ്പസ്ഫുള്ളി ടു തിങ്ക് റാഷണലി ആൻഡ് ടു ഡീൽ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ്ലി വിത്ത് ദി എൻവയോൺമെന്റ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ ഗിവൺ ബൈ വെഷ്ല ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ വെരി ഫേമസ് ഡെഫിനിഷൻ then uh, as you know that uh, when we talk about uh, intelligence uh, the individual differences will be the between uh, uh, i think uh, you know that uh, there will be individual uh, individual differences regarding the intelligence between people okay then now shall we per egadesh idea kittilo ningalk about this intelligence nalladu yes yes weisler i understand spelling w e c h s l e r ano ah okay i remember w e W E C H S L E R W E C S H S L E R ആ ഓക്കെ എന്തെങ്കിലും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കിട്ടില്ല അത് എനിക്ക് പെട്ടെന്ന് ഇടുമ്പോൾ കിട്ടില്ല വെഷ്ണർ W E S C H L E R മാം ഐ ഹാവ് വൺ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഇഫ് യു കുഡ് ഇഫ് യു കുഡ് പ്ലീസ് സ്പീക്ക് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ഡു നോട്ട് നോ മലയാളം സോ ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓക്കെ ഫോളോ ഓൺലി ബട്ട് യു ആർ ടെല്ലിംഗ് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് maybe okay. uh, hindi i'm also comfortable in hindi uh, but i'm uh, hindi <laughs> i don't know hindi so i'll take it in no, english you can, you can, okay. yeah ma'am english okay. is okay ma'am okay okay so uh, this is the famous definition given by weschler okay and now we will move to the uh, different theories regarding intelligence okay so first theory it is about the spearman's two factor theory different theories are the uh spearman's two factor theory is there then uh, again come coming to the tondex theory is there uh then again those so, so, so many theories are there so we will uh, um go through the spearman's uh, two factor theory so uh, this all these uh, theories can be asked as a uh, uh, essay question or as a uh, pre mark or five mark question also so when we talk about the spearman's two factor theory so he is an english psychologist and his full name is uh, charles spearman and he proposed this theory during the year 1904 okay 1904 and it is also called the two factor theory okay so uh, uh, as it is called the two factor theory definitely we know that there are two factors two factors means uh, one is called the g factor and other is called the s factor so in this theory two factors are the this spearman's theory it is also called the two factor theory so two factors are involved so what are the two factors one is the g factor and other is called the s factor s factor the s factor the g factor it is called the general ability g factor it is called the general ability and s factor it is called the specific ability okay g factor what is the g factor general ability and s factor is the specific, specific ability, ability. So n- now we will look at what is general ability hmm? so general ability means it is the general ability of a person to perform an act so when we are given an act we should per- we have the general ability to perform an act hmm? suppose if i am giving you the uh, giving you a particular task definitely you are using your general ability to perform that task okay so that we call as the general ability then uh, when we talk about the s factor it is also called the specific ability it is considered as the intellectual ability pertaining to that particular activity if i ask so there is there is a uh, group of students are here and if i ask you to sing a song everybody can't sing hmm? only that particular intelligence that musical intelligence it is uh, it it pertains only to a particular person or that intellectual ability is pertaining to that particular activity that means it is about the musical ability hmm? it is unique it is very unique or specific to a particular mental activity everybody can't uh, sing or if uh, if i ask you to write a um, speech everybody doesn't have the that particular ability to write a speech in a very good way hmm? it is uh, applicable only to specific person because they are very good in that area so that we call as the general ability so uh, in this uh, the, so usually there is uh, 
G factor means there is only one G factor, but a person should have many S factor. So G factor it is it is a general ability, total uh, ability to perform an act. So we can say that there is only one G factor, but uh, sometimes a person may possess many S factor. Okay. Then, uh, so we can say that uh, the G factor, it is also defined as the mental energy. Hmm? The, it is said because it is the general ability which helps the person at every time. Hmm? So that is why the G factor, it is defined as a mental energy. But when we talk about the specific ability, it is always useful in a particular sphere only. That means, for example, if I say, uh, I just I mentioned that uh, about the musical ability. It is that musical ability, it is related to only a particular aspect regarding the music. So specific ability, it is useful in a particular song or in a particular sphere only. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Well, yes, ma'am. Uh, what's the definition of G factor? You said it is uh, it is a mental energy or ability. What was mental it? energy? We can call because Spearman has called it as uh, defined as the mental energy. Mental energy. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I will uh, make it clear once again. So in Spearman's uh, uh, theory of intelligence, it is otherwise called the two factor theory. Hmm? So two factors are there. One is the G factor and the other is the S factor. So G factor is called the general ability and S factor called the specific ability. So G factor general, it is the general ability of a person to perform an act. And the specific ability means it is the intellectual ability per pertaining to that particular activity. And it is highly unique. Or, or, or we can say that it is specific to that particular activity. Then again, he says that the G factor, uh, he defined it as the mental energy. And the G, uh, G, uh, this uh, mental energy or the general ability helps a person at every time. But when we talk about the specific ability, it is useful in a particular sphere only. Okay, so this is about the uh, Spearman's two-factor theory. Okay, so when we when you write uh, uh, regarding the Spearman's two-factor theory, you have to mention these two terms: general ability and specific ability. General ability or the G factor, and uh, what is uh, S factor or specific ability? Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Yes. So now uh, we will move to the uh, Thorndike's theory of intelligence. So the full name is Edward Lee Thorndike. So Thorndike uh, theory uh, regarding the learning and all, I think, hope you have studied. So he, according to Thorndike, he assumed that the intelligence it involved three mutually independent variables three mutually independent variables. So three variables are there in Thorndike's theory. And these three variables are independent. They are not dependent on each other. Okay, so that is why it is mentioned as they are mutually independent variables. So now let us look what are the three independent variables. First, it is called the abstract intelligence. Abstract intelligence. The second is the Men mechanical intelligence and third is the social intelligence. So now what do you mean by uh, abstract intelligence? Abstract intelligence means it is the ability uh, to perform uh, verbal as well as or ability to verbal as well as symbolic thinking. So if I say something no, uh, some people started thinking verbally or some may use the symbolic thinking. They use the images, certain symbols in, the, in thinking and they are very easily they can comprehend what I am telling. Because verbal thinking as well as symbolic thinking is more dominant in abstract intelligence. Okay, so a person who possesses abstract intelligence, they have the ability to think in a verbal way or they have the ability to think in a symbolic way. 
so that we call as the abstract intelligence so if a uh, if a po person possess uh, or if the pos person has the ability to think in uh, verbal as well as symbolic way then we can come to the conclusion that he is having high intelligence in abstracting is it clear that is abstracting then the second is the mechanical intelligence so the mechanical intelligence uh, means it is something related to our body so a person who possesses mechanical intelligence that means they have the ability to effectively control the body as well as they uh, they know how to manipulate the objects okay so here kinesthetic things uh, kinesthetic aspects are very important so mechanical intelligence means ability to effectively control your body as well as they know very well how to manipulate the objects so that we so definitely we know that they are using their muscles effectively so for example the sports people uh, then um, uh, sometimes surgeons uh, architects all those people they come under this category because they have the me mechanical the high mechanical intelligence uh, and other things uh, the dancers all Uh, they are using their body. They uh, effectively. They are using their body effectively because they know that how to control their body. Okay, so we can come to the conclusion that they are having high mechanical intelligence. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma What is the social intelligence? What do you mean by social intelligence? Social intelligence means uh, so they know uh, they are very good in interpersonal skills. Hmm? so when i mentioned about the uh, eq the interpersonal uh, skill how to deal effectively with others that is a very important uh, thing when we talk uh, important component when we talk about the uh, eq so here uh, a social intelligence means it is the ability to communicate with people to uh, they should know uh, they, they clearly know uh, know how to maintain a good social relationship with others so the ability to function successfully in interpersonal situation that we call as a uh, call as a social intelligence so now um, uh, you all are budding psychologist hmm? so uh, which skill uh, should you possess social intelligence social intelligence social intelligence at the same time abstract intelligence that is also very important in a, when a case is there in front of you and uh, when they are uh, expressing the problems no uh, you should uh, the symbolic thinking that is also very important but um, major thing is that uh, you sh as a psychologist uh, we should know very clearly we should know how to communicate with the people uh, uh, then only we will be able to uh, understand the problems okay so we have to maintain a very good uh, social relationship with other people so uh, Uh, that is the most important thing which a psychologist should possess so in context theory of intelligence uh, he assumed that the intelligence three mutually independent variables first is a abstract intelligence then concrete intelligence and sorry mechanical intelligence and social, social intelligence. and social okay. intelligence is it clear yes ma'am then okay then here this is called the thurston's theory then in thurston uh, he is uh, again a thurston is a psychologist and uh, thurston he described about can you read this the slide is not that much clear anyway this uh, in this mode or this uh, particular theory he composed uh, seven primary mental abilities so he mentioned about or he had given importance to seven primary mental abilities so first is the verbal comprehension second is um, reasoning then perceptual speed numerical ability word fluency associative memory and uh, next is uh, this is spatial visualization okay so it's not clear no not clear not clear i can't do anything clear clear uh, anyway first is verbal comprehension so what do you mean by verbal comprehension what is verbal comprehension 
so now i am uh, taking class for you this is an oral presentation hmm? so i am uh, talking to you verbally hmm? so whether you are able to grasp what i am talking to you so that we call as the verbal comprehension then what is reasoning reasoning is a major component in uh, thinking hmm? when a problem is there in front of you whether you are able to think it in a logical way whether you are able to use or to reason that particular situation so that that we call as the reasoning capacity judgmental hmm? all those things comes under this reasoning then uh, perceptual speed hmm? what do you mean by perceptual speed what is perception so you are studying cognitive psychology so now i am asking you the question uh, can you give in very simple words what is perception your understanding of a situation is your perception your understanding of the situation uh, is okay that is okay that uh, in uh, under the context of uh, cognitive psychology perception what is perception it is the ability to of you acquire uh, perceive uh, comprehend uh, ability to see hear and interpret it hmm? we are getting uh, so many uh, external stimuli from the environment we are seeing it we are hearing it or with the help of other five all the five senses we are receiving the stimuli and we have to interpret that stimuli Mm, or we have to give meaning to that stimuli that process we call as perception mm? so that perception how far or how fast we are interpreting or giving meaning to that particular stimuli that we call as the perceptual speed it may differ from one person to other okay then uh, the next is the numerical ability what do you mean by numerical ability how uh, good you are uh, how well you can play with numbers or how good you are with, uh, you can uh, calculate the num uh, you can do the calculations the mental ability so that we uh, call as the numerical ability so we know that some are very good in mathematics hmm? they know how uh, how uh, very how well uh, they they are able to play with the numbers hmm? they can do the mental calculations all these things comes under numerical ability then uh, word fluency what do you mean by word fluency hmm? how well you can use the words hmm? that means it is something related to the communication process how well you can communicate um, then uh, whether you are able to use the words uh, in a clear way or whether you are able to communicate you are able to express uh, your ideas to others in a Uh, good manner so that we call as the word fluency then associative memory what is associative memory so when we memorize uh, certain things we use our past experience or the past experience plays a very important role in the in memory so uh, we know that uh, many of the things we um, memorize the you we use association association plays a very important role so that we call as the associative memory and the last one is the spatial visualization what do you mean by spatial visualization spatial how well you are able to utilize your space around you for example a, uh, uh, an architect or a uh, civil engineering student hmm? they very clearly know they should know how well they are able to utilize the space around them okay then we can say that they are having high spatial intelligence okay so these are the seven uh, primary mental abilities or it is otherwise called the pma if somebody ask you what is pma it is called the uh, primary mental abilities and thurston um, uh, in his uh, thurston's theory of intelligence he composed seven primary and mental abilities so it is uh, regarding the verbal comprehension then reasoning perceptual speed numerical ability word fluency associative memory and visual uh, sorry uh, spatial visualization it is the perceptual seal uh. perceptual uh, speed s p e e d speed s p e e d speed perceptual speed 
ുംബിലിറ്റീസ്ുള്ളൂ അതില് മിസ് റീസണിങ്ങിന് നമ്മൾ ഇൻഡക്ടീവ് റീസണിങ് ഡിഡക്ടീവ് റീസണിങ് പണ്ട് രണ്ടെണ്ണായിട്ട് ക്ലാസിഫൈ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് പിന്നെ അതേപോലെ ലാസ്റ്റ് വൺ പ്രോബ്ലം സോൾവിംഗ് ആഡ് ചെയ്തിട്ടും ഉണ്ട് ബാക്കിയെല്ലാം നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞതെല്ലാം ആ തിയറിയിലും ഉണ്ട് ഇപ്പൊ നയൻ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് പറഞ്ഞു സാധാരണ ഇതിനകത്ത് വരുന്നത് സെവൻ പ്രൈമറി മെന്റൽ എബിലിറ്റീസ് ആണ് തേഴ്സ്ഡൻ ഡേയിൽ അത് നയൻറ്റീൻ തേർട്ടിയിലാണ് തിയറി ഇറ്റ് വാസ് പ്രപ്പോസ്ഡ് ഓൺ നയൻറ്റീൻ തേർട്ടി ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് തിയറി ഇറ്റ് കമ്പോസ്ഡ് ഓൺ സെവൻ പ്രൈമറി മെന്റൽ എബിലിറ്റീസ് സെവൻ പി എം എ സാധാരണ അങ്ങനെയാണ് പഠിപ്പിക്കാറ് ഇനി ഇതിപ്പോ ചിലപ്പോ ഇത് കഴിഞ്ഞ് റിസർച്ച് കണ്ടക്ട് ചെയ്ത സമയത്ത് ചിലപ്പോ കൂടുതലായിട്ട് തിയറീസ് ആഡ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടാകും ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ എനിവേ ദ തേഴ്സ്ഡൻ സെവൻ പ്രൈമറി മെന്റൽ എബിലിറ്റീസ് അതാണ് ഇനി മറ്റേ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഫാക്ടർ എന്നുള്ളത് അതിനകത്ത് ഒരു ഇതിനകത്ത് കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഒരു സൈറ്റില് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾ ദ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഫാക്ടർ തിയറി എനിവേ യു ചെക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈനലി കം ടു കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ഷെൽ ഐ മൂവ് ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് കോൾ ദ പാസ് മോഡൽ ഓഫ് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് പാസ് മോഡൽ സോ ഹിയർ പാസ് മീൻസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് പി ഇസ് പ്ലാനിങ് റൈറ്റ് ഡൗൺ പി ഇസ് പ്ലാനിങ് then a means attention arousal attention arousal and s is first s is simultaneous simultaneous second s is successive simultaneous successive so pass means planning attention arousal simultaneous successive simultaneous successive this is called the pass model of a theory of intelligence and it was first proposed in 1975 first it was proposed in uh, 1975 by das nagelary and kirby das nagelary and kirby later it was elaborated by uh, sorry first it was uh, first it was proposed in uh, 1975 by uh, das nagler kirby and jack and jarman hmm? three persons were involved in during the initial stage that is das kirby and jarman and later it was elaborated by das nagler and kirby so this past theory uh, this theory states that the brain is made up of independent and separate functional system so this theory has given importance to the brain hmm? so this theory of intelligence says that the brain plays a very important role in intelligence that is the brain it is composed of independent and separate functional system okay is it clear athra manasilayo yes then it says that this theory says that 
three units in the brain are responsible for this processing like a planning arousal uh, attention simultaneous these are called ha, 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 ha. these are called processing some processing when uh, when you are doing something when you are getting involved in some activities so our brain is uh, working or the brain the functions of the brain are very important so this theory says that uh, the brain it is made up of uh, independent and separate functional system so that i'm saying i'm also losing the connection three units are responsible ah, okay three units are responsible so, uh, when we get involved in one act, in an activity these units of the brain get activated so uh, this arousal Uh, or the planning, uh, then arousal, successive, simultaneous. These are some processing which happens inside the brain. Okay, so the various units of the brain are responsible for these processes. So now let us look what uh, one by one. What is uh, uh, what is first is a uh, planning. So what do you mean by planning? Planning in the. so when there is a problem when a problem is there in front of you so for example suppose you have to solve a word problem hmm? the problem is there in front of you and when you have to solve that problem definitely you have to make some plan am i correct yes. if you want to write the psychology exam uh, or if you want to submit the assignment uh, tomorrow for example tomorrow you have to make some plan am i correct Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. For every activity, when we are getting involved in one activity or other, definitely we have to do some planning. So, in planning, when you make planning, uh, we have to uh, think about the. We have to think a lot. Thinking the process called the thinking is involved. We have to take certain decisions. We we should be able to solve the problem effectively. All these things are involved. So here, planning means it is the ability of an individual to make certain decisions on how to solve the problem and how to carry out the task. So I ask you to um, submit the assignment tomorrow. So it is a it is a it it is a problem in front of you. So you should have to take certain decision. So you have to uh, do some planning, and in planning. you should possess the when you plan that activity hmm, you should possess the ability to take certain decisions on how to solve the problem that means how to uh, submit the assignment on time how to carry out the task effectively all these things are involved so that we call as the planning some are good in planning some may not be good in planning am i correct uh, so that we call as the planning so p means planning so planning means it is the ability of an individual Uh, to take the decision on how to solve the problem and how to carry out the task so where, when uh, you have to submit the problem tomorrow by 10 o'clock so you have to set the goals you have to act on it you have to perform certain things then only you will be able to reach the goal are harshit to bheja okay so that is very important so here this theory says that in the initial part uh, i mentioned that the brain certain areas of the brain is involved so as in the last class i think yesterday i mentioned about the four lobes so when we do this uh, or when we get en uh, engaged in the planning process the frontal lobe is involved that you have to write down planning frontal lobe is involved planning frontal lobe is involved so if you have to uh, you are working on your assignment um, because you have to submit the assignment tomorrow by 10 o'clock so you have to set the goals you have to uh, uh, do so many things related to the submission of assignment so you have to plan accordingly then only you will be able to reach the goal and your goal is to submit the assignment by 10 o'clock so which area of the brain gets activated frontal lobe frontal lobe okay so that is three simple like the parayan betullo okay so this we call as the plan then what is a what do you mean by a attention attention, attention arousal attention arousal, arousal. so it is uh, common to any behavior 
Hmm? So this attention arousal, it is common to uh, or arousal or attention, it is common to any sort of behavior. Here, uh, the first uh, the first functional unit of the brain selectively attends to stimuli while ignore, ignoring other distractions. Hmm? So you have to submit the assignment by 10 o'clock tomorrow. Hmm? So many distractions are there. Some function is going at your home. Uh, sometimes your children may be sick. Uh, sometimes you have to uh, spend some time with your wife or husband. Um, so many distractions are, might be there. But you are selectively attending to particular stimuli. Hmm? What is that stimuli? You are uh, giving too much importance to the assignment because you have to submit your assignment on time. So that is your primary importance. Mm -hmm. uh, so you are attending to that uh, stimuli, means attending to that assignment. At the same time, arousal makes the person alert. Mm -hmm. uh, as the time passes, you become more aroused. Mm -hmm. So suppose you reach, uh, suppose uh, night 12 o'clock, you are sitting in front of the assignment and you are uh, coming to the, uh, you, you came to know about that my assignment, it is not complete till. Mm -hmm. Only few hours are left. That then that knowledge makes you more alert, or you become aroused. Mm? So uh, when you become attent attentive to that particular stimuli, at the same time arousal makes the person alert. Okay. So these arousal functions it is associated with brainstem and thalamus. So write down arousal. Arousal function, arousal function are associated with brainstem and thalamus. Brainstem and thalamus. So, uh, attention as well as arousal that comes uh, automatically when you when you get attended to some object or to a particular stimuli, what happens you naturally or automatically you get aroused. So that the uh, brainstem and thalamus, uh, it gets activated or in other words, we can say that uh, brainstem and thalamus are associated with this attention and arousal function. An optimal level of arousal uh, focuses our attention to a relevant problem. Okay, anyway, that, uh, you leave it that optimal level and draw. Uh, is it clear? Attention, arousal? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, that is the second part. Then, what is S? First S? Simultaneous. Simultaneous. What do you mean by simultaneous? So, simultaneous, I will give you a question. You listen to my question. Hmm? And, any question, I am uh, going to dictate the question. At the same time, listen. And, at the same time, you have to uh, do the activity. It's a very small question. Hmm? I'll uh, dictate the question. You have to listen. Hmm? And when you listen, that means you are hearing the question at the same time. Simultaneously, you have to uh, do the activity also. Agree? All of you, please listen. I won't repeat yes. the question. Hmm? Listen to the question and simultaneously do the activity. Agree? Yes. Okay, ma'am. I won't repeat the question. Okay, so uh, shall I start? Yep. Hello. Yes, ma'am. So the question is: Listen carefully. Draw a triangle above the square that is to the left of a circle. Under the cross. The question is over. Yes. Are you able to complete the activity? Yes. 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 So here, the, the question is to draw a triangle above the square that is to the left of a circle under the cross. Okay. Here, the important thing is that each element triangle, square, circle, left side, cross. Each element is related to every other element. Okay. 
each element it is related to other uh, elements so when we talk about the simultaneous process we have to give due importance then only we will be able to complete that thing so in simultaneous process uh, this uh, uh, das nagleri and kirby they says that the occipital as well as the parietal areas are involved so when you are doing this particular activity i had given you the question and you are working on that so that then your occipital as well as parietal areas are involved so write down occipital in simultaneous processing the occipital and parietal areas occipital and parietal areas are involved Uh, in what then next is what is the second s second x s, 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 s successive processing okay. so here the next processing is happening that is called the successive processing so successive processing means everything has to go in a successive manner okay for example Mm. so how will you be able to do the multiplication before you do the multiplication uh, you should be thorough with the numbers for example if a child hmm, a child in a fifth standard he is supposed to do the simple multiplication so before he uh, get involved in that activity the teacher should confirm or the parents should make it sure that the child is very good in numbers Hmm? he know the addition he know the subtraction he know the uh, yes um, addition everything hmm? all those things regarding the numbers he should be clear then only he will be able to do the multiplication so it has to go in a successive manner that means at first he should know the counting he should be thorough with counting then after that he should be uh, good in addition he should be thorough with addition then subtraction and after then only the child should be able to do the multiplication okay so that that is called the successive processing for example um first the child uh, he he has to learn all the alphabets once he is thorough with the alphabets then only he will go to the word after words then he goes to the sentence it goes in a successive manner so that is called the successive processing so in successive process processing temporal lobe is involved write down in successive successive processing in successive processing temporal lobe is involved temporal lobe is yes so this is called the Uh, pass model so pass model uh, it is uh, um, actually developed by uh, you study only this these names das nagleri and kirby and uh, what is p what is a what is these two ss and uh, then uh, what are the main systems involved in uh, or which all areas of the brain are involved in planning arousal uh, that means uh, p a and s and s okay so this is called the pass model is it clear yes ma'am yes ma'am mm. ma'am yes excuse me ma uh, can you just explain the pictorial representation of pass model pictorial representation yeah, it's given in the text or uh, material uh, text i think the question and the answer i'm not sure about it it is the so first uh, okay i'll make it clear uh, yes. First, you draw a triangle. Triangle. Hmm. Just draw a triangle. Then uh, you are talk talking about the simultaneous processing, no? No, ma'am. Uh, no, it's ma a picture representation of pass model. Pass model. Uh, okay. Just function. Ah, it is so given. It is, is is it there in the textbook? I'm not sure. I, yes, I don't have the material. Yes, ma'am. Ma yeah. Yes, ma'am. It is there. Okay. is there in the text it's a text or that material is not right now it is not with me yes ma'am ma'am it's okay it's okay 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 so shall i move to the next one yes ma'am yes ma'am so uh, this is called the 
multiple intelligence uh, this is a very important theory uh, multiple theories of multiple theories of intelligence uh, and it is uh, by uh, actually this theory it was proposed by gardner howard gardner 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 so he developed this theory in uh, 1983 and this theory what i feel is that personally i feel that this uh, theory is very very relevant uh, especially in the field of uh, education and uh, the teachers so uh, you can make use of this theory so he uh, howard gardner developed this theory in the year 1983 and howard gardner uh, he proposed that seven distinct uh, intelligence are the hmm? so seven distinct intelligence 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay seven intelligence different types of intelligence in nature so uh, we can call it as a multiple theories of intelligence so what do you mean by multiple theories of intelligence multiple hmm? so because different he is not giving importance to a specific um, but i'm going to say here yeah. coming up here yeah. specific area of intelligence he is uh, giving importance to seven different types of intelligence so that is why it is called the multiple intelligence so multiple intelligence means a set of abilities uh, or uh, in other words a set of talents or uh, mental skills that the individual possesses to a greater or lesser extent so we all have these types of intelligence we are we are having natural i will mention what uh, each intelligence is so we definitely we will have uh, natural intelligence linguistic intelligence is the uh, visual intelligence is the musical intelligence interpersonal intelligence intrapersonal logical and kinesthetic intelligence we all have these different types of intelligence the only thing is that the individual possesses these intelligence to a greater or lesser extent suppose if i am having the musical intelligence it may be on a greater extent hmm? but uh, this logical intelligence it will be in a lesser extent okay so that is the difference so multiple intelligence means it is a set of abilities or it is a set of uh, mental skill that all individuals possess everybody every human being in the world will have this types of intelligence only thing is that to it, it will be in a, a greater or a lesser extent okay now let us look at what are the different types of intelligence first it is the uh, linguistic intelligence what do you mean by linguistic intelligence linguistic something related to the words as well as language that is the ability to use words and language it can be both uh, written as well as uh, spoken hmm? so Uh, such type of a person who possesses the linguistic intelligence no uh, that such type of people are uh, sensitive to sounds they use their auditory skills can you give some example this there in the slide can you give some example for people uh, which category of people are having this like musical writers 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 lawyers journalists journalists all these executives yes. teachers teachers okay all these people uh, come under this category especially poets and writers and lawyers whether they come under this linguistic ah uh, yeah they are good in words okay okay so these type of people come under linguistic intelligence That's, so the main um, ability the main uh, uh, the dominant area is that they know very well how to use the words and language both are written as well as spoken and um, so they are they are having we can come to the conclusion that they are having these people that is especially the poets and writers they are having high linguistic intelligence then next is uh, the visual spatial what do you mean by visual spatial uh, just in the last uh, pma uh, that is primary mental abilities i mentioned the uh, what is spatial intelligence so here visual spatial intelligence means um they are very much aware of their environments hmm? uh, they like to draw then uh, they like to read maps and uh, they are good in visual imagery imagery what do you mean by visual imagery 
visual imagery suppose if picture, i am showing pictures pictureization or uh, the same is the uh, of uh, different objects mm -hmm. in their mind uh, schema we can call it as a schema mm -hmm. okay uh, so when we uh, suppose if you are um, seeing a movie will you be able to do this uh, visual imagery when you are seeing a movie visual imagination is it possible yes ma'am no how how is it possible you are directly uh, seeing it from the screen no so visual imagination is not possible when you are seeing a movie but suppose when you are reading a novel we definitely we will have yes. a visualization yes. mm -hmm. so that we call yes. as a, uh, the visual imagery so uh, visual spatial means they are very much aware of their environments uh, they like to uh, they know how to draw because they know how to make use of the space and they are good in reading maps um, and so usually the architects or uh, sailors engineers uh, designers uh, fashion designers or or architects or uh, building designers engineers especially civil engineers all those people come under this category visual spatial okay is it clear then next is musical musical intelligence we all like music hmm? but there are certain people who are having their musical intelligence is very high that means they are very sensitive to rhythm and sound that means that they love music we all love music but they love music little bit more and they Uh, there are, have you seen of uh, some students who study who may study better with music in the background yes, hmm? yes. some students are yes. like so yes. if yes, i start doing work uh, with uh, some music uh, in my background i am able to concentrate only on the music not in the studies hmm? so but there are a group of people they can perform well with the uh, a background music so we can come to the conclusion that uh, their music they are uh, having high musical intelligence the main thing is that they are uh, very sensitive to rhythm and sound okay uh, that is called the musical intelligence then next is interpersonal what do you think by interpersonal interpersonal intelligence they are also called the people smart this uh, right down interpersonal also called people smart people smart so it is nothing but uh, um, they are good in interacting with people so the ability to organize people ability to group ability uh, to do group activities then uh, they are good in maintaining the social relationship for example leaders uh, social workers so all uh, the people who come under this category we can say that they are having high interpersonal uh, skills okay then next is intrapersonal what do you mean by intrapersonal inter yes. means between two groups hmm? or between two people so intra means within so hope you got the difference between inter and intra hmm? so intra means understanding one's own interest so these type of people they are more preoccupied with themselves hmm? some sort of preoccupation will be there and these type of people they have wisdom uh, they have intuition they have motivation and they have confidence hmm? uh, so for example uh, philosophers um, then clergy i don't know uh, but uh, usually the philosophers usually come under this category because every for everything they have their own uh, they have some understanding uh, regarding themselves hmm? they have some um, wisdom the philosophers usually they will be different from ordinary people no? so we can say that their interpersonal intelligence is high then ma'am yes what about psychologist psychologist usually interpersonal ordinary psychologist usually the interpersonal uh, in intelligence it should be high Okay. Is it clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. Then uh, next is uh, intrapersonal. Then okay. Next, <clears throat> this is a uh, logical. 
logical or in other words we can say that logical mathematical that means uh, the person should possess the capacity to think logically hmm? they should pos and at the same time uh, if a person uh, should possess the capacity to think logically definitely they should be able to carry out the uh, mathematical operations hmm? some are good in mathematical operations no because their specific area of the brain is uh, very strong then uh, again when we talk about the logical intelligence uh, they are good in critical thinking also that means they are good in logic uh, they are good in abstractions they have the reasoning capacity in short we can say that they are good in numbers mm -hmm. so they they are able to do the mental calculations and all uh, for example uh, have you heard of shankuntala devi yes ma'am yes you yes. can you can say that she is uh, good in logic and mathematics mm -hmm. the that area that intelligence uh, is very high then next is kinesthetic what do you mean by kinesthetic or we can say that bodily kinesthetic so which type of people come under this category kinesthetic sports sports people dancers like dancers, actors singers dancers or come under this category so they have a keen sense of uh, body awareness usually they communicate through body language and uh, they know how to use their body effectively especially dancers uh, usually when you look at uh, just have an uh, just when you observe the dancers no when they talk or when they interact with other people they use so uh, they make use of their body they use the gestures uh, a lot of body language so many expressions will come on the uh, face so they are we can say that they are using their body effectively to communicate so we can come to the conclusion that according to howard gardner gardner their kinesthetic intelligence will be high usually actors athletes then dancers all come under this category and there is uh, this is uh, the naturalistic intelligence what is naturalistic intelligence because uh, naturalistic intelligence means they are more sensitive to the beauty of nature more sensitive to the beauty of nature for mari ek kai ni you see a rainbow hmm? some may notice it some may become very happy some may ignore it hmm? because uh, some may not find any beauty in that but some people uh, they are more sensitive to the beauty of nature so we can come to the conclusion that uh, they are having uh, high naturalistic intelligence and also at the same time um, they love animals they love birds uh, then uh, so anyway they are more attached to the natural world that is called the naturalistic intelligence so actually seven types of intelligence and then later a few more intelligence like existential intelligence then uh, spiritual intelligence all these things were added to this theory and uh, how we can apply this the eight type of pardon what are the eight is eight type of intelligence what are the eight eight one Na, here uh, ma'am uh, in the description box it is eight types uh, what are the eight to eight eight one which is uh, which is the eight one visual musical textbook extensive ma'am thannirikkana book nath alla ma'am thannirikkana slide etten undu here it is 8 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay 8 8 okay visual spatial ah adu cheladile ee oru ah 8 undu adu first ee naturalistic intelligence an thonnu later aayta add cheyidana pinne later aayta vannadile existential intelligence koodi vannittund hmm yes ma'am textbook la undu textbook la edakke annalada existential um kooda undu textbook la textbook la so what do you mean by existential intelligence so existential intelligence actually means uh, some people are uh, they have the capacity to tackle the deep questions about the human existence that we call as the existential intelligence for example uh, whether there will be life after death hmm? uh, or what is the meaning of life 
so uh, they are very keen in uh, tackling or uh, getting answers to these type of questions uh, regarding the human existence so we can come to the conclusion that they are having uh, high existential intelligence so altogether uh, how many uh, types of intelligence are there in, in your textbook eight or nine 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 nine, nine. 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 So uh, then, uh, what is the ninth one? Existential. 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 Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma existential. 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 Yes, ma We will write all the nine. Uh -uh. No, I am asking the question. What is multiple intelligence? Multiple intelligence. Or something. Or it is a set, a of, set of talents that the talent. individual possesses to, to a greater or less, uh, lesser uh, extent. The main essence is that the Namak all are found. Naturalistic intelligence is found. Namak linguistic found. Visual, spatial, musical, interpersonal. These are all intelligence is found. പക്ഷെ ചിലരിൽ സൈനസ്തറ്റിക് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് കൂടിയിരിക്കും ചിലരിൽ ഇന്ട്രാപേഴ്സണൽ കൂടിയിരിക്കും അപ്പൊ ബാക്കിയൊക്കെ കുറഞ്ഞിരിക്കും ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു ഇന്റലിജൻസ് ആയിരിക്കും കൂടിയും കുറഞ്ഞു അത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ അത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ അത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ ഇപ്പൊ ചിലർക്ക് പാടാനായിട്ട് ഭയങ്കര കഴിവായിരിക്കും പക്ഷെ അവർക്ക് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ലോജിക്കൽ ഇന്റലിജൻസ് കുറവായിരിക്കും Hmm? Only, only one intelligence will be more. One intelligence will be more, but the other intelligence will be in a lesser extent. Hmm? No, two intelligence. No, no, no. Two intelligence. One or another two great tiring will appear. One or another. Hmm? One or another. 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 that much higher hmm? so is there any condition where uh, a person possess all these intelligence equally or in a higher manner equally higher um, some extraordinary ex exceptional cases might be there hmm? uh, they are having very good interpersonal relationship at the same time they are good in musical uh, uh, if a person who is good in music will be good in uh, dancing also at the same time they are good in some students are like that no extraordinary illa nam idu vanga is genetically aitano namukku idu develop idilla mattu intelligence ah adana njan parayan verna karya so this intelligence and the personal act of opinion parayanengi this intelligence a uh, very uh, this theory of intelligence we can apply in the academic or educational uh, situation educational um, means uh, the educational law or field we can apply it very well how as a teacher can you uh, explain how this is applicable in the educational field uh, yes ma'am yes actually namal class edukumbo namal or diagnostic test adime thanne conduct cheyum aa kutiyile logical reasoning um kinesthetic um visual spatial linguistic okku nokkuna tharu oru question naal category aanu nammal main aayittu educational field il conduct cheyunnathu appo adine base cheyidittu kuttigale nammal categorize cheyum avare ability anusarichu intelligence anusarichu then ee oru result nammal avare class conduct cheyum nammal normal classes edukkumbol avare aa talents increase cheyna reethiyil modify cheyna reethiyil aayirikkum kuttigale nammal cater cheynathu okay ൂഡ് ഇന്റലിജൻസ് 
uh, it was but uh, nowadays what is happening is that, is that the music because of the parental pressure if the even if the student is not interested in a particular field the student uh, is forced to uh, seek admission in that particular area according to the post the parents interest and the student will not be after a few years no the student uh, he get uh, he or she get bored and uh, sometimes he may become a dropout so to avoid such situations uh, we, uh, it is uh, it is the teachers as well as the parents responsibility to find out which type of intelligence the student possesses hmm? the student is having uh, higher intelligence in which area and accordingly uh, the responsible person can channelize the student okay so this is about the howard theory of uh, multiple intelligence then next is uh, what is the time now okay this uh, this also i'll take on so this is about the uh, intelligence uh, theory uh, this is called the triarchic theory of intelligence uh, by sternberg Hmm? Sternberg's triarchic theory of intelligence. So, in our, uh, Sternberg's triarchic theory of intelligence, he had given importance to uh, three areas. That is uh, triarchic. So, three areas are important. That is analytical area, creative area, and a practical area. So, first is called the analytical area. What What do you mean by analytical area? Analytical. Hmm? Ability to evaluate, analyze. Ability to compare, evaluate, and analyze a problem. So that uh, it's very simple. That is called the analytical area. And second is the creative area. So what do you mean by creativity? Creativity, you have to study in detail. So that time I'll uh, give uh, details regarding the creativity. Anyway, in creativity, the insights are very important. So when when you study the different stages of creativity, you will uh, you will I will make it clear what we mean by insight. And so in uh, just for the time being, you just um, keep in your mind that what is uh, the in creativity insights are very very important. Then at the same time, when a problem is there in front of you, you have to you should possess the ability to synthesize that problem. Then adapting uh, in unique situations. So adaptation means. Uh, adapt to new situation that is very important so here when we talk about the creativity certain practical intelligence that is very important that is ability to grasp uh, then uh, ability to understand and uh, how we are dealing with the everyday task that we call as the uh, creativity or uh, in when we talk about the creativity adapting to new situation that is very important then uh, again um, Practical. Practical means what? What is, what is practical? So here we can say that uh, practical intelligence means uh, the individual should possess the ability to change the environment or to deal effectively with the environment. So do you remember the definition given by Weschler? I have dictated. What is that definition? Intelligence. It is the aggregate of Global, global capacity, capacity to, to act, act purposefully, to think, think rationally, rationally, and to deal and to effectively, deal with, effectively the with the environment. So, deal effectively with the environment. That uh, that particular component that is very important. That area. So here, practical uh, means uh, how we are dealing with every day. We are at every time we are facing one problem or other. No? So how effectively we are uh, dealing uh, with that. Uh, problem which is there in front of you. If a challenge is there in front of you, how you are handling that challenge, how you are approaching that challenge, and how how effectively you are dealing with that challenge, that is very important. So in uh, triarchic theory, Sternberg's triarchic theory of intelligence, he, uh, he had given importance to the analytical part. Um, it is also called, the analytical part, it is also called the componential uh, theory. Uh, then uh, creative part it is also called the experiential theory and the practical part it is uh, described as the contextual uh, sub theory okay uh, then that is the sternberg's triarchic theory then this is this theory is also very important 
which is called the Guilford's theory of intelligence. So this is also called the SI theory. Write down SI theory. That means the structure of intellect. SI theory. And it was proposed by Guilford. SI means structure of intellect. Structure of intelligence. Intellect. In, not intelligence. Intellect. Oh, okay. Okay. I-N-T-E-L-L-E-C-T. -E intellect. So, here, an individual, you can write this, uh, this point also. <clears throat> an individual's performance on intelligence test, an individual's performance on intelligence test depends on depends on underlying depends on underlying mental abilities or mental abilities or factors of intelligence or factors of intelligence So, so here in his theory, according to Guilford, he made it very clear that suppose uh, when we are administering an individual uh, intelligence test to an individual, the performance of the individual, it depends on certain factors or so it depends mainly on certain mental abilities or factors. And he organized these mental abilities into three components or uh, in three dimensions. That is called the content, product, and operations. So how many uh, abilities or how many dimensions are there in Guilford's theory? Three. Three dimensions. What are they? Content, content product, 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 mental operations. And operations. So again, the content it is divided into three, three or uh, sorry five. Content it is divided into five. What are the five components of content? Visual, visual auditory, 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 auditory symbolic, symbolic, semantic, semantic, behavior. So the visual uh, activity, visual capacity, or the visual ability that is very important. Auditory ability is very important. Symbolic ability is very important. Semantic. What do you mean by semantic? Meaning, 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 and a behavioral component. The, these things are very important. So content it is divided into five. Then again, the third, second dimension, that product. Product it is divided into uh, six. 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 What are the six? Units, Units classes, relations, classes, relations, systems, systems transformation, systems, implications, transformation, implications. And implications. implications. Then, uh, what is the third one? Operations. Operations. Operations is divided into evaluation, then convergent production, mm. divergent, divergent convergent production. and divergent thinking, and a detailed item. Uh, memory. Uh, convergent production, divergent production, memory, and operation. Okay. So, in a, uh, uh, three dimensions are there, and again, these three dimensions are divided into um, a few. Um, into, again, it, uh, some division is there. And Altogether, he identified 150 abilities. Okay. In 150 abilities, that is, you write down five contents, five contents into, into five operations, into five operations, into six products equals 150 cells. 150 cells in the latex, please no. Yes, yes. Yes. So 150 cells. Okay. Can you just repeat once more that sentence? That is a uh, five contents. Five contents into into five operations. Five operations into 
six products into six products equals 150. 150. So altogether in this cube, 150 cells are there. That means 150 abilities are there. Ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Uh, ma'am, what are actually these products and operations? Okay, that I'll make it clear. Yes. So these contents, products and operations that are called the abilities or dimensions. Okay, abilities or dimensions. Then, so first is the content. So when we hear, uh, a, uh, when we see a problem or when we visualize a, a particular event, so that is the content. In the contents in that uh, problem or in that event, that is very important. So first is visual. What do you mean by visual? Visual means the information arising from stimulation on the retina in the form of uh, in the in the in the form of an image suppose if you are a bit, uh, you are witnessing an accident hmm? so you are getting some stimulation and you are witnessing uh, after witness uh, when you are witnessing that particular accident you are getting some information from that particular area so your retina it gets stimulated and the image is falling on your retina so that means you are getting some visual information in this way you are getting the visual information then similarly what happens in the case of auditory auditory means suppose if you are uh, hearing uh, the a loud noise your uh, cells in the specialized cells in the inner ear it gets activated so that the information arising from stimulation of the cochlea hmm? Uh, cochlea that is cochlea you know hope you know the parts of uh, inner ear hmm? okay cochlea inner ear semicircular canal these are the parts of the ear so that particular area of the ear it gets activated so that you are hearing the auditory sensation so and after that symbolic what do you mean by symbolic in the when you are when i talk to you about uh, a particular incident you are making or you are thinking inside your mind. So here symbols play are important, important role. So how far you are able to think in a symbolic way that we call as the symbolic. Then uh, semantic means it is something related to the uh, meaning or uh, the information perceived. If I'm taking the class, so you are getting some information and the information it is uh, perceived in words or in sentences that we call as the semantic. And when we talk about the behavioral, what do you mean by behavioral? Behavioral means the individuals uh, or the information perceived as acts of the individual. Mm -hmm. uh, when I become uh, very aggressive, I start hitting other person. So it is an overt act and you can observe that act. So the information perceived as acts of an individual we call as the behavioral. So when we talk about the contents, products and operations, these are certain dimensions or these we can call as or the Guilford called it as the abilities. accident information Some have auditory intelligence. Some may be able to think in it in a very symbolic way. Some are giving meaning to uh, uh, meaning to the words, but in other words, uh, or in other uh, other group of individuals, they receive the information, or they are, have the capacity to perceive the information in uh, in the in uh, with regard to the behavioral aspect. That means acts of an individual. That is that is what they are giving importance. It may differ from one person to other. So the next is the products. What do you mean by products? Units, classes, relations, systems, yeah. transformation, transformation, and implication. I think uh, all the details are there in the text. No? Unit, yes, what you, what is yes, 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 it is there. Then again, uh, when we talk about the operations, uh, operations, uh, it is the evaluation. 
evaluation then convergent uh, divergent production memory evaluation uh, evaluation means what do you mean by evaluation judging hmm? an analysis we are assessing we are assessing the whole thing then um, uh, again a divergent and uh, convergent production that uh, ഇവിടെ വരുന്നുണ്ട് ഡൈവേജൻ ആ ടൈമിൽ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു തരാം കേട്ടോ മെമ്മറി മെമ്മറി യൂനോ കോപ്നീഷൻ എന്ത് ഇതൊക്കെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് ഗിൽഫോർഡിന്റെ തിയറിയിൽ എപ്പോഴും ഹൗ മെനി സെൽസ് അത് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഹൗ ദിസ് മച്ച് സെൽസ് വൺ ഫിഫ്റ്റി സെൽസ് കെയിം സോ കണ്ടെന്റ് ത്രീ ഡയമെൻഷൻസ് അത് and uh, 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 these three dimensions again the division of these three dimensions that is very important so five contents into five operations into uh, six products so all together 150 cells so we can say that this 150 cells or 150 abilities uh, are different intellectual abilities uh, give for identity ma'am we have doubt yes Uh, is it 150 or 180 that is why uh, our class uh, it is our uh, class we studied 180 and uh, yeah. yeah. so here yeah. also i put a question mark in the in my note also uh, whether it is uh, i think it is uh, somewhere i read it as 180 but i think it is uh, 150 that is operation in r and all and all operations in all and all five operations r six and all varunnad ma'am six into five into six and all varunnad Ah, okay. 180. Then it is uh, 180 because uh, initially I read it as 180 but in some other book I read it as uh, 150. So here uh, that is why initially I asked whether it is 150 or 180. Anyway you study according to uh, the Igno notes. Okay. Text it actually, I think it is 180. Text it is 150. In Igno 150 but I think uh, actually it is uh, 180. 180 is the correct answer. Ma'am, is there a practical implication? Because when we are talking about 150 abilities, how do we practically relate it to people? Because then you need again to classify uh, them. The is there a way to... The thing is that to... we are uh, giving not that much importance to this theory. No, maybe it is. Okay, ma'am. Hmm? Thank you. Because to find out this uh, 150 or whatever it be, 180 abil- abilities, it is not an easy thing. Ma'am, but she want 5 into 6 or 150 or all of them. ഈ പറഞ്ഞതനുസരിച്ചിട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫൈവ് കണ്ടൻസ് ഫൈവ് കണ്ടൻസ് ഫൈവ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് സിക്സ് പ്രോഡക്ട്സ് ഓൺലി വൺ ഫിഫ്റ്റി വിൽ കം ബട്ട് സംബഡി സെറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് സിക്സ് വരുന്ന പറഞ്ഞു അല്ലേ സിക്സ് അല്ലേ ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് സിക്സ് വരുമ്പോഴാണ് വൺ എയ്റ്റി വൺ എയ്റ്റി വരുന്നത് ബട്ട് ഹിയർ ഓൾസോ ഇൻ ദിസ് ഓൺലി ഫൈവ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് ആർ മാം ഇൻ ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്കിൽ തന്നെ വൺ എയ്റ്റി ഓപ്പറേഷൻസിനെ കുറിച്ച് എവിടെ പറയുന്നുണ്ട് ഞാൻ വായിച്ചായിരുന്നു ബട്ട് അതിലെ എല്ലാ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സും അതിൽ നിന്ന് കുറച്ച് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് റെഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് സ്റ്റഡീസിന് എളുപ്പത്തിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് വൺ എയ്റ്റ് വൺ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ആക്കിയിരിക്കുന്നതാണ് വായിച്ചത് ഓക്കെ ശരി ആയിരിക്കാം എന്താന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ബിക്കോസ് ഇപ്പൊ പല ക്വസ്റ്റിനേഴ്സും ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് ത്രൂ സെർട്ടൻ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഫോർ ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഇനിഷ്യലി ചിലപ്പോൾ ഒരു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ഫോർ ഡിജിറ്റ് ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പല ഫാക്ടേഴ്സും ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ടു എ സ്മോൾ ഫാക്ടർ through a statistical technique called the factor analysis so that we are able to very easy for us to conduct the test we hmm? 150 factors to identify cheyano nenu it is it is not an easy thing app ada irikkuma i think the but i think that the correct answer is uh, uh, 180 hmm? but, uh, if you uh, not see if it is 150 you have to write it as 150 മാം ഈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ അസൈൻമെന്റിൽ ഉണ്ട് അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ എഴുതുമ്പോൾ വൺ എയ്റ്റി എഴുതുമ്പോൾ ജസ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ ഇഗ്നോ സ്റ്റഡി മെറ്റീരിയൽ ബിക്കോസ് യു ആർ ഫോളോയിങ് ദ ഇഗ്നോ സ്റ്റഡി മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇനി അടുത്ത ക്ലാസ്സിൽ എടുക്കാം ഓക്കെ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽസ് പെർഫോമൻസ് 
on intelligence test on intelligence test depends on depends on underlying mental abilities underlying mental abilities or factors of underlying mental abilities or factors of factors of factors of intelligence or of or 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 factors or, of or. intelligence <clears throat> okay thank you mom okay so we will continue with the uh, in the next class okay thank you okay thank you ma'am 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 thank you ma'am